So I've got some old lamb or mutton, not very good quality, but today we're gonna to make this curry with potatoes, Indian style, in a pressure cooker, and we're gonna get it absolutely banging, like fall off the bone. When I say that, check that guy out. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Welcome back to How To Cook Great. So let's take a look at what we have here. So let's take a look at the star of the show. I've got some mutton there, mutton being a not so nice cut of lamb. It's a bit tough. So we're gonna make it beautiful, of course. We're gonna use the pressure cooker. Four regular sized tomatoes cut, about three potatoes, one large onion, some curry leaves, fresh curry leaves. If you can get them, they're marvelous. If not, try and get them dried, but fresh, beautiful. Fresh chilies to taste, entirely up to you how many you put in. Two tablespoons of garlic ginger paste, and then two teaspoons each of what I always call the big four. So we've got chili, I'm using the Kashmiri chili, coriander, cumin, and turmeric. One, two, three dried red chilies, two teaspoons of cumin seeds, one, two, three, four, five green cardamom, and here we've got some fresh cilantro or coriander. Let's get to the pressure cooker. So here we are with the pressure cooker. Now we're gonna be cooking without the lid on just for a little bit. Let's start off by dropping in the chili, dried chili, cardamom, and the cumin seeds. To that, we're gonna add the curry leaves. Now I've got a little bit of oil in there. I'm using the sunflower oil. Just a few seconds, let them do their thing. And then we're gonna be adding the lamb or the mutton. Now I've got about 700 grams there, and there's a few bones in it as well. So let's really infuse that oil. We're now gonna drop the meat in. And we're gonna cook this for about five minutes on a high heat. Just wanna get a little bit of browning on it, a little bit of color. So that's just a few minutes, getting a little bit of color on there. I'm now gonna add some salt. We're now gonna drop in some water. Enough to just cover it, you know? And this is where the magic of the pressure cooker comes in. So what we're gonna do now is get the lid on and we're gonna go for about eight to 10 minutes. In that time, the pressure's gonna really get in there and start to make this mutton beautiful. Okay, so I've got the lid off there. Now, depending on the quality of your meat, you might need to do it a bit longer, but this is gonna be perfect. Right, here we go. Let's get that onion and drop it in. Let's drop in our chili now. Our two tablespoons of garlic ginger paste, in that goes. Our spices, let's take a look again. So, two teaspoons, chili, coriander, cumin, and turmeric. Let's now drop in those chopped tomatoes, fresh tomatoes in there, wonderful. Some salt. Now, if you don't have a pressure cooker, that meat's gonna need to be boiled for like an hour hour and a half so the pressure cooker really does work out to be a, a bit of a lifesaver when it comes to getting this meat right next up i'm going to drop in our potatoes in they go i'm going to put in half of my cilantro or coriander we're going to get some more water about half a pint there Now what I love about the pressure cooker with the potatoes is the potatoes break down and make a beautiful masala for us. Well, some of them will. Okay, so we're gonna go back on with the lid and we're gonna go for about another eight or nine minutes. Mm. 
that is looking beautiful. Perfect potatoes. Beautiful, tender meat, really, it really is. Super tender. Okay, check it for salt. We're gonna go now with a nice big pinch of garam masala powder. We're gonna drop in a last little bit of cilantro or coriander chopped. We're gonna give that a mix. I'm gonna get that in a bowl and I'll be saying goodbye to you. Absolutely wonderful. Look, take a look at that bone. Look at that. We've really got that old bit of mutton and made it super, super tender. That is a beautiful, beautiful curry made in a pressure cooker. Hope you enjoy that. I'll see you very soon. Lots of love. Thank you so much indeed for watching our videos. It means a great deal to us. Please do hit the thumbs up for us if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't, I suppose. Yeah, don't do that, just do that. Um, yeah, and subscribe to us. That would really help us out a lot. We just hit 100 million views. We're very excited about that. We would love if you could support what we're doing. We don't do any ads or endorse any products at all, uh, even though we're offered it quite a lot. A lot of it rubbish, to be honest. But um, yeah, we, we, we don't want to be doing that. So we've got a little PayPal thing. If you want to buy us a coffee, just a couple of dollars or whatever you want, you can just follow the link, which should be about here now. And uh, yeah, pay me some money. I'm broke. Lots of love.